When the word of God says in Exodus 20, verse 12, honor thy mother. Now, if there's one person that deserves to be honored, it's, it's mom, our mummies. Why? I call my mother mummy when I, before she died, when I was, um, I don't know how old, 34, I guess. She was still my mummy. I always called her my mummy. Why? It always touched me. I never, I never said mother, I said mummy just like I did with mommy. And she was dying by her bedside. I loved her and started uh, praising her up and she could hear me and I just said, mommy. Why? Fixed honor, great respect in my heart, tremendous esteem. I placed a great value on all that she did for me. Going through the pain of child caring and child bearing taking care of you when you're just a baby and putting up with everything you do in ignorance and rebellion and immaturity, that's mummy. So the Bible says, honor mummy. Amen? Honor her. Somebody has said, a man I met five years ago said, in my interviews, I'm different than most people. He said, I always evaluate how young men and women speak of their mother in my evaluation. He said, I put it down two-thirds through my questions. And he said, then I'll have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and ask them, what do you think of your mother? And he said, if they pour out their heart and tremendous love for their mother, he said, I want to hire them. He said, I will put up with a lot of things that I might not appreciate if I find out they love their mother. Because he said it shows character, respect, and esteem to do that. Do you know, as members of God's royal family, we must have a fixed value system in our hearts? Oh, I wish that Christianity would understand this. Let me listen. To, let me uh, define it to you. First of all, a great value for mother, a great value for father. Then we become parents. The children that placed a great value on their parents, someday they become parents. And then because they placed a great value on their parents, they place a great value on their children. And they find ways to bless their children. They love them. They identify with them. They understand them. They have boundary lines of love to develop their character. They build them up. They become creative in things that they do together. They try to provide the best way they can spiritually and intellectually and educationally and otherwise for the kids. They honored their parents. Now they honor their children. When a child does not honor his parents, they rob themselves of dignity. They rob themselves of value. They rob themselves of something that would make them worth a lot before God. And so my value that I literally intimately place on Jesus Christ will determine all of my other relationships It'll determine my honor code in the royal family of God. It'll deter determine my value system under grace and mercy and forgiveness and love. 